everybody, Heather from Oak Down Picking here. I have got auction finds, auction finds, and more auction finds. My father-in-law, Chuck Hooks, has been busy finding the treasures for you guys. He has been hunting, finding really great deals so that we can offer you really great deals. Everything is already on hookdownpicking.com, but we're going to go ahead and look at all the fun, amazing things that he found at his auction finds. All right, so let's get right to it. Paul is behind the camera. He Hello, everybody. Occasionally. So this is a set of vintage die-cast cars, and it's every single one you see there. So as you can see, you got kind of your old-style open-body. Um, yep. Kind of reminds me of the Duesenberg they had in Yeah, Annie. yeah, Remember something the like Annie that movie? there. So really fun, cool die-cast cars. $20 for this whole lot. This is already on HookedOnPicking.com. Go to the Fun Finds category of HookedOnPicking.com, and you will find each and every item we show you today. Yeah, okay? at the beginning, we've got just some lots. I didn't know yep. exactly what to do with some of it, but yeah. hey. So for us, this we could have researched every single button and probably found a gem or two, but we're very busy people. So you're going to get a deal of a lot of 100-plus um, face button pin kind of things. Pin backs? Yeah, pin backs. I didn't so, know what to call them. Somebody really knows. Fun. I know like what Sunshine Badges and more. I think she does a lot with with uh, buttons too. Buttons and pins. But I know some people do. Um, I looked them up on eBay just like a lot and uh, they were all over the map. So I was like, eh, 30 bucks. I know there's over 100. I counted 100 and then just stopped. Bush and Quail. I wonder who won. 88. Uh, we need more people like us. And fewer like that. What? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I don't know what that is supposed to be. You know what? That would work no matter what your stance was. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yep. Eat proud, American. Proud to eat American cheese. Nice. Star Wars pen. Yeah. Cool. Probably so find just some good ones. The whole thing, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Lose your mind. Yep. 100 plus. All right. Then we've got box of cars, planes, and tanks. Is that was it? Or tr Trucks and tank. There's a Trucks tank right there. Trucks and tanks. Right there. Touch one of the buttons. <gasps> Still works. That drives like me. Yeah. Like a psycho. <laughs> this one's actually a nice nice car there. Nice truck there. The like die cast. It, it's a Menards. Yeah. I believe we rented one of these trucks to move our furniture one time. Uh, yeah, we did. We absolutely yep. did. And we've got some cool... Look at... This guy is cool. He's a... Uh, Kind of rescue plane? Yeah. Boat plane, something like that? But it's like got that? like a treasure hunter X marks the spot. But I just like it because it's got the little yeah. pontoons. I don't know if anything means anything, but twelve fifty. Yeah. Twelve fifty for you that You get everything whole in box. there. Have fun. Lose your yeah. mind. Here's then, the big one. This is the big one. And again, we didn't want to piece out every... Oh, look at this little baby one. It's like a micro machine. Yeah. lot of 60 plus die cast cars and micro machines. Yep. So you got all sorts of things. This kind of looks like a Batmobile... But it's I like, know. it's got the bat on it. Yeah. And monster truck tires. It's got all sorts of, look at this one, cool. I don't think there's any like real old one in there. I could be wrong, but. There's some fun ones. There are fun ones. Oh, here's a police, is this a police car? Yeah, I think it Haywood is. Police, it says. There you go. 20 bucks. Yep, 20 yeah, bucks you for this have everything. whole lot. It's really, really cool. Lose your mind. All right, then we got some cool figurines. You guys love your figurines. So this is a really, really cool Winter Birds right here, $10. Really a pretty, pretty scene. You can run over to hookdownpicking.com onto the fun find categories and find every single one of these items right yep. now. They're all there. Yep. There's bucks. not a lot of a description. All we do is, because they go so quickly, we've just been putting... What's that phrase? From our most recent auction finds. Yeah, from yep. our most recent auction finds. So it's best if you can see kind of the description of what they look like and the size of what they look like here. Here's a couple yep. of brass candle holders. Really nice matching, just simple pair of brass yep. candle holders. Put a little tape Small, on. but they do have weight to them. Yeah. So your candle's not going to tip over. $10 yeah. there. And then look at that beautiful clock. It is mm -hmm. a battery operated clock. You just throw a double A in there. It's working. Yep. And it works good. Really, it's, really pretty. It's running right now. Put a battery in it. Yep. Uh, Danbury clock. It has German movement. So they're, they actually are on eBay. I saw quite a few of them. And they're all selling. That's so cool. So 10 bucks. 
Then we've got our lot of frogs. Like, he's super co colorful. Yeah, Must he be is. in charge because he's got the stick in his hand. Of course. This guy is really cool and detailed. That's a very spiritual frog. He's praying. Yes, <laughs> this one here. Yeah. That's cool. He's got a praying frog. I think um, he also has a hole, so I think he's set up to be an incense holder, maybe. I think so. Um, or he can hold a matchstick or something. Hold a Bible. He's praying. There he goes. That'd be good. So $10 for all three of the frogs. Then we have this really cool painted frog. Uh, painted pottery pink frog. Uh, I Am I good to turn this around? Yes. To show the painting? So Look kind of that. a cool scene on the back there it is I, i'm trying to think because it looks like harvest scene or they're dancing or yeah. something it looks like corn maybe is it, it corn it feels kind of yeah. south american doesn't it yeah south america so this would be the painted pottery pink frog and what the name is on the tag is usually something pretty close to what we put on hotel right. picking right. but you'll see the picture of it as well yep now, this guy was awesome. Look at that guy. Okay, so he's basically a brass bunny, yep. right? 14 inches tall. 14 inches tall. He's huge. Look at just, I mean, yep. 20 bucks. Now, we were in the ASD Market Week, oh, and wholesale, this is probably about the price that you would pay wholesale for him, maybe 14 or $15 wholesale for one this size, yep. and we're only saying 20 bucks because Chuck found such a good deal. We're able yep. to offer it at a really good deal. So, this is probably our most favorite find. Perfect time of the year. It's right before Easter. It'd be perfect. You know, 14 inches tall. But he would match anything. Look at him. He's so detailed and cute. Then we have our other bunny here with some painted purple flowers. Yellow rabbit. That's a, that's a really well done painted flower. Yep. Little flecks of something sparkly in there. So $10 for a cute little yellow rabbit. Just screams Easter, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Yep. He's the perfect Easter color. 10 bucks. Yep. Then we have our vintage lawn sprinkler. It has that very 1950s kind of yes, it shape does. on it. Really cool. It's kind of the, that space age, you know, how they were trying to, the cars had fins and everything. And, you know, is, is it called the Atomic Era? I think it might be called the Atomic Era. I can't remember. Somebody on the comment, correct yeah, comment me. comment below what it's called. Now, this, it's still functional. Everything is free moving. You could yep. hook this up to a sprinkler and sprinkle your lawn. But uh, apparently they're collectible now. Uh, so fifteen dollars for ours there. Yep, enjoy that. It'd be neat. Then we have a few more lots. These are armies in plastic. Mm -hmm. So these are fifty-six pieces. This is the seventeen hundreds era. Yep. So you've got like two cannons in there, and yep. they're it's kind of revolutionary war style. There, I gave a couple of close-up <laughs> pictures also on hooked on picking for you to look at a little bit further there. So, and of course, whatever doesn't sell in Hooked on Picking, a lot of this will go on the fire sale this yep. coming Thursday. So, uh, we'd and like maybe. to give everybody the opportunity to buy it before that. Then we've got um, 60 pieces of 1800s era. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of got some cowboys there and some other soldiers in there. $20 uh, in there, yep. but really neat pieces there, all different colors. Then here's kind of our cool little cowboys and Indians for sure. It is a huge right. lot. Yeah, so how many are in that? 78 one? pieces, cowboys and Indians, nine horses. Now, apparently these are hard to find. Nine of the horses, I think this horse right here. Look at that guy. He actually stands up good too. <laughs> nine horses, 35 cowboys, 34 Indians, so perfect set. Mm -hmm. 25 bucks. Yep, and that you'll be able to see better pictures on hookedonpicking.com. Yep. And those look pieces. at the box. It just screams vintage, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, it does. It's Grandma's box. It's Grandma's box, everybody. All right. Then we have this cool gold-painted marlin fish. Look how big it is. Yeah, I think 17 inches. Yep. $15 Pretty. for him. It's basically a wall mount. Yep. So you hang it on the wall. Really cool. Mm -hmm. so, you could wear it as a pendant necklace if you really sure, wanted why to. why not? I mean, you might tip over. You buy it. You can do whatever you want to with it. You'll tip over if you wear Give it. Give it to your pastor. Pastor appreciation. Yep. Even in Ohio. Doesn't yeah. matter. I heard Illinois. March was Pastor's Wives Appreciation Month. I think they just Pastor made that. Pastor's Wives, up. yeah. I didn't think. Sounds I didn't like... think there was one. Yeah. Anyway, I get appreciated all year long, so that's no right. I all appreciate right. you, Heather. Three wooden elephants. Look how detailed they are. Really beautiful really wood. They have. You can see the wood grains in them. See their eyes. Their eyes. There's a different little piece of wood there. It's like 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 a little pen that they did there. I thought that was pretty that unique. Is neat. Different. $15 for the set of three. 
And then those of you remember the eggs we were selling? Well, these we know this bell we know for sure is Fenton because it is um, a hand painted bell and it has the Fenton uh, sticker on it and it's actually signed. Yeah, look at that. By the artist that painted it. Hand painted by and then whoever that person and is. And then you want to show that Fenton sticker too? Yep. I think I did a second ago. Yeah, there you it is. Did. Yep. You did. Perfect. Twenty bucks for the pink hand painted Fenton bell. Yep. So that's on hookedonpicking.com right now. All right. Um, before I get to the jewelry, I want to talk about this. Oh, and then we're yeah. going to come back to the jewelry. So this tank is super awesome. This guy is a 50 cal. Yeah, he does. I know because I shot one of these before. Um, but this is by the 21st century toy maker, World War II Sherman Tank. And it's made less to be a toy and more to be a display piece with very accurate, detailed items on it. So it's got everything from the gas canisters yeah. to the to the extra wheels for the track, um, extra pieces of track there, the guys and the two you know holes here. It's got helmets on it, little cargo carriers on the back, shovels and e-tools and axes and stuff. Everything that would be strapped to a traditional Sherman tank is on it. So 60 bucks. We saw them as low as 40, but they didn't have near as many items yeah. detail wise on as ours. They were pretty plain at $40. And then all the way up into like the $150 range. Ours is extremely detailed. Um, and so we put it at 60 because we want to give you guys a bargain, but yep. it also, I, we don't have the box. Yeah. But, it also um, is really cool. Who's like, going to keep this in a box, man? It's even got like the vintage like yeah. packs and yeah. rucksacks on the back. It's like their helmets are kind of hanging off there yeah. a little bit. It's really a cool piece. And really it's neat. huge. It's enormous. Mm -hmm. um, so this is probably at least 12, 13, 14 inches long. Yep. Um, $60. And you can find it right on hookedonpicking.com under the fun finds. Okay, now let's go to the jewelry. We're going to give you a glimpse into the jewelry. All right, we've got a few pieces laid out, but let me show you something amazing. All right, this box is full of jewelry, and it's got egg cartons in there, and each egg carton has an individual piece of jewelry in it. Right, okay, I want to explain a few things here. If you can just open some of this. A lot of this I haven't even gone through yet. Yep. Um, Dad found such a good deal on all this jewelry. I started grabbing out a few pieces just so that we have some. Some of this also will be on Hooked on Pickin'. Some of it will be on uh, the fire sale. It's just, it looks like somebody just went through and individually put little little jewelry trinkets. It almost looks like, like when an auctioneer is setting up for a auction and they set a box of jewelry aside and then at the very last second... They forgot it, you know, and yeah, then they bring it out, you know, this, stuck in a Pyrex container. Maybe the auctioneer thought it was Pyrex or whatever. It should have been at the beginning of the auction. Probably it went for more money. Yeah. But it didn't. So we're going to be able yeah. to give you stuff. It really seems. So what, what I'm trying to do here is $5 jewelry pieces and $10 jewelry pieces, if that makes sense to you. So these two right here specifically are going to be five. Just like a little simple cross. This I think a, that's an Avon cross. Yeah. So. I think there. I think it says Avon in the middle. I don't think it's gold. This has a seahorse on it. Yep. Is that a seahorse? Yep, it's a seahorse. Is it a dragon? It looks like a dragon to me. Could be a seahorse. Seahorse or dragon, one of the two. So, and then, $5 for a necklace like that there. And then look at these. These are all $10 a piece. So these come with actual earrings. Yeah. You got this cool, like, Florida Lee. I of. think that this may be Boy Scout. Uh, Sunshine Badges and More. She's our Boy Scout uh expert she may know yeah it looks similar to the the symbol the symbol and i'm wondering is this something that boy scouts do for a craft or something maybe so i put it for 10 bucks then we've got a couple of tree of heart necklaces with the cool necklace chains here yeah and then we got something these i know were kohl's because there were a lot of kohl's jewelry in the uh in the box there and then we have this here is uh, comes yeah. in this box that said sixty dollars on the box but i don't think it's the actual thing that came with the box let's see yeah look at that i could not pendant. find a marking on that so i just said well we'll do it for 10 yeah it's a really pretty necklace 
So there you go. So we're going to be putting more jewelry on. We may do a whole separate video where we display all the jewelry. Right. But we'll slowly be putting it on fun finds even before we do the video. So check out that on a regular yep. basis and we'll... Yeah, we'll, and, and we'll put it in fun finds, and it might pop up also in jewelry as well. It might, but yeah. most likely any of the auction finds will go fun finds. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. we All probably right. should just change that to auction finds, but we have some of our own stuff in there too. Sure. All right. So then we have these cool Lionel uh, cabooses. So we have um, red plastic ones. We're just selling them five bucks a piece. I'm going to find the ones that say, oh yeah, they say it on the other side. Yeah. There they are. Yeah. See so, Lionel lines? Yes. And so we're going to do five bucks a piece. And what we're going to do is we're just going to grab one red one. So it'll be yep. randomly selected one of the red ones. We do have two brown ones here. Yep. Same those, thing there. Those will be specifically called brown. These will be on the fire sale for sure. Yep. We do not have these on Hooked on Picking yet. If we get some time, we may quickly post them. Yep. But if not, they'll be on the fire sale. Yep. Then we have one metal one. Kind of heavy duty. Yeah. I think that's older. Yeah. Because of the metal. $10. It says Pennsylvania. Uh, four seven seven six one eight. Yep, Eastern Division, and so this one is fully metal, and yeah. so that one's ten dollars. And then these other um, trains are really, really. I amazing. don't even think these have been out of the box. They've never been out of the box. We don't want to take them out of the box. Right. We're gonna sell them as is. Twenty dollars. They're not on hooked on pick and fun finds yet, uh, because we really just want to display them in the box, and we don't want to take yeah. them out of the box. So twenty bucks. Uh, each for the boxed ones. So we have this K-Line electric train. Same. And this and is a black coal car. Yeah, and this one is, this is 0, 0, 0, 7 gauge. So if you have a specific track size, you can see that there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got this one here is a tough and rugged 027 freight car. Mm -hmm. So really cool, pretty one there. It says electric trains on there. Yep. Um, ABS. Plastic. 20 bucks. I only have one of this one. It's mm -hmm. 20. Same way with this $21, $20 for this one. And it's called a, it says right here on the side, if I can get it here. That's what it says there. Wooden tank car, 19th century. That one's still in the plastic inside yeah. the box. Well, I think that's how this came too. Yeah. So, so I don't, really I cool. really, I don't think they've ever been out of their box. I think somebody bought them. Stuck like, them on a shelf? Yes. And then they left them there. Maybe they were going to use them for a train set and then decided not to. Yeah. So. And then we have three of these cars. So this is um, the die-cast metal trucks. Um, and so this is the MTH Railroaders Club charter member kind of car here. So mm -hmm. what is it? Does it say specific? It's it says by the barcode. Box car. It says box it's car. a box car. And they're all three of these boxes are the exact same yep. car. So this one's the box car. Um, really, really cool. So, yeah, these are neat. All right, then we've got some cool vintage paper products. So these are music books. Here, you um, want to come around this way? Yeah, oh, these are music way. books. and They're um, really neat. They're old, 1904. So these were like advertisements slash music books. So they'll have some adver advertisements in there. Yeah. So you have like either a story or an advertisement on along. one side along with a song. And it's that way on almost every page. So this, this I showed you a couple in there. Let me go ahead and move to this one. Same thing. Isn't that neat? Portraits of ladies who have endorsed the something home treatment. Cardi home treatment. <laughs> The truth yeah. and the song, and then look at this one. This one's cool too. Got yep. some cool music in there. Yeah. So you get all three of those. These are fifteen, ten to fifteen dollars. Yep. Uh, they're already listed on Hooked Up Pickin'. Here's an Eddie Haywood music book, modern piano go piano transcriptions. There you go. So beautiful. Don't blame me. Rose room. Rose room. So lots of cool stuff, Eddie Haywood. Then this one, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, Paper Dolls. I used to play with Paper Dolls. It's the song, yep. Paper Doll, yep. by Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby. You've got this Bing Crosby, and then you have also, let me move this one. You also have this one here. Mm -hmm. Now this says, Here Comes the Groom. That was the motion picture that the song was in, in, in the, the cool, cool, cool of, cool of, of the, the evening. evening. Cool. So I know somebody contacted us, and they're not using the music. They're just using the look, photos? the photos, or the and they're framing it yes. to put on their wall. Yep, that's cool. So we got those two. Then we also have 
sophisticated swing. So That's this is cool. a oh, all of these are from nineteen nineteen thirties to nineteen forties. This yep. next groupings. So this one is sophisticated swing, along with Oh Mama, Rudy Valley. I don't want to walk without you. And then you came a long way from St. Louis. <laughs> So all of those pieces of, and they're all pieces of music, like yeah. I'll show you here. Yeah. They're all pieces of music. Yeah, you can play it today. Yep. It's probably songs, I mean, when's yeah. the last time somebody heard some of these songs? So here is, I got plenty of nothing, Porgy and Bess. So these are the lots. So those four that I showed you would be one lot. Right. Here's another set. So this is one. I love that title. I got plenty of nothing. I got plenty of nothing. Oh, you miser, you. It's <laughs> good stuff. Cool photo, ain't it? Yeah. Stay out of the South. Cool look. Yeah. Stay out of the South. Okay. All right. We won't go there. But it's warmer down there. All right. With a hey and a hi and a ho, ho, ho. Of course. All right. Then we've got Red Hot Mama. That's what Heather is. With a ukulele arrange arrangement. Of course. Everybody needs that. The gr Wait, wait, wait. By the world's... Greatest songwriter. Who is the world's greatest songwriter? Let's find out. Let's see. Irving Berlin. No, wait. That's a copyright. No, that's probably the songwriter. Irving Berlin. This is 1934. Yeah, it is Irving Berlin. Yep, 1934. Well, he's Boom. the world's greatest songwriter. We now you know. You can own a piece yep. of history. Oh, this is a cool cover. Isn't it a cool cover? It's got the Marx Brothers on it. Sure does. Cool. Blues, Blues in, in the, the Night. That's I kind of a cool this. scene, yeah. too. Oh, we got some magazines coming up. They're really amazing. They're really, really cool. So that would have been a set. And then yeah. here's the next set. This is the Andrews Sisters, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Shoo Shoo Baby. Shoo Shoo Baby. Look at oh, that guy. look at that guy. Mr. 5x5. Five, five. <laughs> five feet tall, five feet wide. Is that what it's, is that what it's implying there? <laughs> Looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. Yeah. I think we all need to do that. Yep. Yeah. Those are old. Yep. See if you open it up, maybe I can find the copyright for them. It says made in the USA. Mm hmm. Okay, let me open it. What does it say right there? Yeah, and that's 1936. How do you know those things? It's just Roman numerals. Listen, Paul's way smarter than me. I just know it. This is not true at all. All right, I'm crazy about my baby. And my baby's crazy about me. Look at that. I love that picture. Isn't it cool? It's really cool. This guy looks like a doofus. But this looks cool. He's suave. Doofus? Stop. Cool. Stop. Doofus? Cool. There's Cupid. And Cupid. And Cupid. All right. When Irish eyes are smiling. These are old, too. Really old. This is just music sheets. My wonderful love for thee. Ernest R. Ball wrote both of those. Okay. Looks like we or got it. composing it. Land of the long ago. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a whole stack of yep. ones there. I'm going to go yep. ahead and... I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna get a mix up. Um, move on here. Yep, move on. Look okay. at this thing, guys. This is awesome. Okay, Heather, Heather, you gotta hold that up, pick it up. All right, now you've got to squeeze that. Kind of squeeze it hard. <laughs> I did not know it was gonna make that. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a. a no, high pitch. do it again. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It's super awesome. It still works, man. Coming through. <laughs> That's through. awesome. I feel like I should just carry this around. All right, don't break it. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to sell it later. All right, antique brass car horn number 14. So yeah. a lot of the vintage ones that were actually like legit, not repops, had the number 14 on them. And look at that. Number and that 14. that one has the number 14. Boom. I so. think it looks really cool. It is really cool. And the fact that it still works. I can't believe that this part still works. Yes. Oh, look, I got. Yeah, I had it on my hand too yeah. a little earlier. That's cool. That's 40 cool. bucks. Yeah. Pretty cool. Look, okay. Look when at this I guy. first saw this, I thought, it's a wand. Yep. It I, is not a wand. Yeah. When I, I uh, spent some time looking this up, uh, I think when Dad got it to me, he wasn't exactly sure. We kind of wondered, is this some kind of spiritism wand or something like that? It is not. It's an um, antique. It screams Harry Potter or something like yeah. that. But I'm like, those were like sticks and stuff, you know? This is brass here. Mother of Pearl inlay here and here, almost translucent. Look at that. Beautiful. It's an and then antique the top here. Victorian walking stick handle 
with mother yeah. of pearl. It even has the end here where you can screw in yep. the walking stick. They would switch out. So so instead of buying a complete different cane, you would you had this topper, if you yep. will, and that would screw into whatever, you know, kind of wood that you wanted it to go in. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? So 30 bucks. 30 bucks. It's probably the, worth a thousand. Probably. All right, then we have these cool antique bells. I just love the bottoms of these. These are cool. Yeah, they are. And they do ring. Yep. Now, I was wondering what kind of bell it was. I think somebody put it, like, like on their doorknob here. Yeah. And it was, a, like, a Christmas display is what I'm going to guess. I thought they were jingle bells. When I looked up jingle bells, they looked different. They weren't sleigh bells. Yeah, oh, yeah, sleigh bells is what I think, but I don't know what they are, but... They're really cool. They are very cool. 25 bucks. For all four of them. Yep. All right. Now, here are the magazines I was super excited about. And all three of these yep. are going to be 20 bucks a pop. And they're already on Hooked on Picking. And these are Women's Home Companion magazines, all three of them. Yep. And they're made specifically to be for women in the 19... What did you say? 19... Well, it says December 1912. See? 1912. 1912, And man. most of the writings and information are from women authors, artists, and such. Yeah. So, you know, most like, of these folks are long gone. Oh, look, Tiffany and Company, an advertisement. Yep. It's just neat because they have all the old advertisements. They have everything in here. It looks so neat. Yeah, they're really cool. Look at that. Yeah. Christmas gifts for the baby. Look for a price on some of it, too. Oh, yeah. We like, were... see, there's doilies and lamps that they're selling, the Irish crochet table scent. Here, oh, here's a colored gifts to make the house beautiful. <laughs> gifts for young folks. Look at the top. <laughs> The tie <laughs> for young folks. For young folks, everybody. Nice. Look at this stuff. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now one of them had. Let me see. What are you looking for? Cloth, fifty cents. Yep. Full leather, one dollar. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that one of the magazines we were looking at had like dresses. Yep. Really cheap. If you keep flipping through, you'll probably find it in there. In this one. It might be in there. See, here's a short story. Oh, yeah? Yeah, here's the Christmas gift, short story from the land of books, and pretty neat. 50 cents for your stockings. There you go. Really neat. Really, really, really neat. Yep. Oh, these boots? Yeah. That's a different kind of boot. <laughs> Three fifty to $5? Yep, that's hey, cool. We have the same same price on Hooked on Picking half right, the time. Right, right. Trying to see what it's... This is a mop. The old cedar mop. Cedar mop. Of course. Oh, here you go. Let us furnish a room for you for fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five. You get all that. Look at that. Fourteen ninety five. You get a rocking chair, a chair, a desk, bookshelf. That's it's ridiculous. Can't even buy a gallon of gas for fourteen ninety five. Oh my word. Yep. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Okay, so I wanted to look in this one because this one has some cool pictures in yep. it. This was specifically a fashion one, too. Yes. Look at that little advertisement. This one is from 1914, so it's a little okay. bit older, but not, or a little bit younger. But This is where I... This is it yeah, with the dresses. $1.25 for this dress. five ninety eight for this dress. <laughs> 98 cents for this one. A dollar for this one. Isn't that crazy? Three for a dollar for those. I think somewhere. I was looking. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? feel like you could just take one of these pages and frame it, you yep. know? That would be really neat. Especially, like, if you had a dress shop or something like that. Or... And it's rather large, too. Oh, yeah. You know, the pictures are really big. Really neat. Or you could just start wearing dresses that look just like that. I, I need a dress like this one right Reminds now. of me of, uh, what was it, uh, Downton Abbey? Downton Abbey, yeah. Downton Abbey, yeah. More clothes like that, yeah. Aren't those cool? Cool. So each of these are 20, 25? 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This one, I love the cover. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Same kind of idea here. If you look through here, I like a lot of the old advertisements in here. William Salk powder there. Protect your little ones. Insurance ad, I think that is there. All kinds of different advertisements and different things going on in here. Here's a Campbell's Soup ad. Look at that. One of it says how much Campbell's Soup would be. Ten cents a can. Twenty-one kinds. Ten cents a can. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, those are. Pretty and awesome. then this is just uh, Eunice Farland wrote this little story. 
Uh, Eunice Farland wrote that story here. Really neat. And then all of them have this kind of thing too. They have a painting. Like a poster almost inside. Yeah. And this is hunting where... Yeah, it's 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 a print, of course, because it was in every magazine. But still, look at that. Again, you could frame that. Goodness, twenty bucks, probably worth thousands. All right, so we have all of the stuff available on hookedonpicking.com under the fun finds category. So go straight there and find all of these items. You can snatch them right up. Hopefully, it's been fun to watch our auction finds. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.